I had just birthed a nine pound baby girl, unmedicated, no tearing. And so I'm just like, oh, okay, you'll, you'll be home. You'll finish work day and then you'll be home. Okay, great. You know, <laughs> at this point, I'm like, I'm going to have a baby soon. That, that everything is going well, not just is the baby physically healthy today. Hey everyone, welcome back to April's Homemade. I'm April, a blessed mama of nine children. I've had two hospital births and seven home births. So thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get going. Now with my third baby, after my son was born, I definitely thought a lot about how beneficial it was that I had stayed home for a long time during his, during his labor. And so I thought, you know, maybe I should just stay home the whole time. So I became a lot more interested in home birth at that time. Now, I still did not really know that much about home birth. I, I was born at home, and my mom always spoke very positively about it toward me, and I'm very thankful for that uh, because she definitely planted that home birth seed in my mind, and, you know, Sadly, I did kind of have to figure things out for myself a little bit. You know, she, she tried to tell me, but sometimes things just don't stick in <laughs> children's minds, or at least not soon enough. So, so for my third one, I was very interested in home birth and... Uh, but you know, my husband was really unfamiliar with it. I wasn't that, I wasn't very familiar with it. And I did not want, did not want to have a home birth if he was not comfortable with it. What happened with my third baby was we were in the military for most of the time I was pregnant with my third baby. I had a lot of prenatal visits uh, at the hospital and... We, we actually ended up getting out of the military when I was about 32 weeks pregnant. We had kind of talked to them before. We had talked to them about it before, and they said that the birth would still, we could still have the birth covered through them because it was like a pre-existing condition. Um, even though we were going to get out before she was born. We were going to get out of the military before she was born. But I went to my 32-week prenatal appointment, and they were they just said, you're not in our system. Like, you're actually not supposed to be here. And so, because we were going to have her at the hospital, and even though I was interested in home birth because again, was kind of a smart financial decision. I had actually hired a doula because I really wanted to have a baby without medication at this point. The, the hospital turned us away. We were gone out of their system, and so I could no longer have her at the hospital. So I was a bit panicked, honestly, um, because you don't really want to be 32 weeks pregnant without a provider or a midwife. You know, a lot of doctors don't really want to take people on when they're so far along and it, it's kind of risky for them. And then, of course, you know, now we are faced with the financial decision of, well, now it's going to cost a lot of money to have a baby in the hospital. Now the home birth is actually looking like the better option in a lot of ways. And so my doula actually recommended my midwife. I have used the same midwife now for seven babies. This midwife was 
really sympathetic toward my situation and she took me on at 32 weeks so I really just had a few appointments with her and then it was time for this baby to be born my third baby Lisa she actually was nine days late and on that ninth day well I actually had my membrane stripped by my midwife because we were starting to get nervous you know once you reach that two week two weeks past point uh, you you may end up having to go to the hospital so she stripped my membranes and I was I think I was I was already like six centimeters dilated but I was not in labor I did not have contractions and so she stripped the membranes and then and then she sent me home and this is so this is so dumb but I had been wanting to get like a certain diaper bag it was at Babies R Us and so and my mom was with me and so me and my mom drove to Babies R Us I started having contractions and at Babies R Us we got the diaper bag, then we drove home, and I was, I was like, the, these contractions were ramping up. I mean, I was, my body was ready to release this baby. When we got home, I called Travis, I called him, I called him at work, I told him I was in labor. Well, my first labor was like 22 hours. My second labor was like 11 hours. So he's thinking, okay, yeah, you're in labor. You know, I'll go ahead and finish my work day. And then I'll come home. <laughs> so I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I'm going to have a baby soon. But I am kind of, I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not a super dramatic person. And so, or I don't communicate. I don't. I often don't communicate well, especially if it comes to like, you know, like high emotion, higher emotional things. And so I'm just like, oh, okay, you'll, you'll be home. You'll finish work day and then you'll be home. Okay, great. You know, <laughs> so my doula comes over. So that was good. She came over. She came pretty much right away even though I called her and she was like out to dinner with her family and I was like, you know, yeah, just come just whenever, whenever you're able, like after you eat your dinner or whatever. Uh, cause I don't know why, I don't know why that's how I am, but, but that's how I am. And so my parents are like getting my other two kids, like a little bag packed. They're going to take them. They're going to take them to like the park while I have a baby, which was such a gift. So I'm, I'm like, I'm on the birth ball. I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. And, and honestly, if I had been at the hospital at that time, I probably would have accepted an epidural. <laughs> um, but then my doula comes in, my husband comes in, the midwives come in. Um, I was kind of, I was wanting... I was interested in having a water birth, so I got in the tub, and honestly, like, when when the end of the labor started coming, it really, it really, it really rocked me. Like, it was then that I realized I had never, I had never really felt the, fi the finale of a birth before and um, because with my first one I had the I got the morphine at the end with the second one I still had some epidural it was kind of wearing off but with this third one I mean it was like it it really took me by surprise like it was like dun 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 like <laughs> um 
I really struggled with it. I was like, I, I mean, I'll just be honest with you. I was wishing that I were in the hospital. I was wishing that I could have some sort of medication. Um, I was really struggling and just kind of not prepared for what this felt like. And I was kind of, I was fighting, I was fighting my body. I, not really intentionally, but I was, I was fighting my body. I was not, I was not letting my body do the work for me. I know now that I should have, or that I could have just pushed my baby out, but I didn't really know. Like I didn't know that she was just coming and she would go back in and come and go back in and come. I didn't know that I should have just pushed her out. And then it would have been over. But I kind of kept experiencing that, you know, when the baby just kind of goes under the bone. And she would rock back and forth. She was, my body was trying to get her out. And if I would have just pushed then it could have been over, but instead I was, I was just, ah, oh, what's happening to me, <laughs> you know, but eventually she did come, and she was born pretty quickly, it felt like a long time, you know, because I was struggling, but once she started to come, she was born pretty soon, and she was a nine-pound baby, nine pounds even, and... I was so thankful I had I had had a, bur a baby born without medication I was a bit like especially right after I was like oh that was so that was hard you know I I did not enjoy that <laughs> um but the reward of this unmedicated home birth actually came after she was born. Like, it was so, it was so wonderful to, like, you know, my midwife gave me and the baby, like, an herbal bath, and the breastfeeding just went great. My baby was peaceful and calm there was just so much peace afterward and I could actually sleep in my own bed which is so much more comfortable than a hospital bed I my my healing was actually just 10 times faster and better I have never had a vaginal tear with a home birth. I'm not saying that happens to everybody, but but I have never torn with a home birth and my hospital births were you know a third degree third por partial fourth degree tear with the first one, second degree tear with the the second baby. I had just birthed a nine pound baby girl, unmedicated, no tearing. The breastfeeding went so great. Uh, my baby was just happy and calm and peaceful. And there wasn't like this hustle bustle. People weren't waking me up to like do whatever you know, medication or whatever they needed to do. My baby and I could just rest after our labor. You know, my midwife was there to like make sure that the breastfeeding went well and she would, she always makes sure that I am eating and that I, that, that everything is going well, not just is the baby physically healthy today and she really told me what to expect and what I should do and 
made sure that I was resting, I actually didn't know, I didn't know that I should not be doing chores the day after I have a baby. And when I had my first baby, I had some long lasting problems from that after having a forceps delivery. So that is how my first three children were born. And thank you for watching. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe so that you do not miss the other birth stories that are coming. And I'll see you soon.